Hello Gemini, welcome to the channel. I hope you're all doing well and thank you for your likes, shares and subscribes. It doesn't cost anything. Please remember this is a general reading. It might not resonate with you. If it doesn't, you can look at your moon and rising signs for greater clarity. So we've got push, push, beg your pardon, I'll say it again, push through any insecurities, first quarter moon in Cancer. Now this is a challenge that you've got to do so that you can pivot forward. This is an obstacle you've got to get over because that's what first quarter moons are about. Pushing through insecurities. So if you're feeling insecure, if you're feeling unconfident, don't be around people that, that bring you down. If you're feeling a bit insecure, work through this. Ask yourself why. Listen to your intuition here. Don't suppress this. You know, um, we don't deny your feelings. We have to work through them. So you have to push through these insecurities here. Um, you might be a bit dubious about taking up a new opportunity. There might be a bit of fear factor to change here. We'll see what the tarot says. New moon in Cancer. And new moons are new doors that are opening. And you have to relax. When you push through these insecurities, new opportunities will come forward. So let's see what this is about. Please show me clearly, Spirit. Please show me clearly. Listen to your intuition in this. Please believe you deserve the best. Um, you shouldn't be around people that are making you feel insecure. You've, everybody's got things to offer in life. We've all got things that we can bring to the table. The Two of Cups. The Eight of Pentacles. And the Four of Swords. Now this is about emotional balance. Spirit is wanting you to relax here. It can be you've been through challenging times. He's been through battle here and he's brainstorming. He's sitting back and he's pampering himself. He's relaxing, you know, do something you enjoy, have a bath, take a walk, do some yoga, meditate. It's about taking time out and taking a step back to heal from what you've been through. Okay, it's reflecting on that and deciding how you're going to go forward. Now, something, if it's been a challenging situation, can affect our insecurities. We can feel a bit unsure of things, how to proceed. So we need to listen to our intuition and we need to brainstorm. This is a type of brainstorming where he's deciding here how he's going to go forward. But you can take your time. There's no rush here. You could be recovering from illnesses that's made you feel insecure. You might feel, you know, as if you're getting your confidence back after being out the game for a wee while. But what we've got to do is take time out to be pamper ourselves. And that's where the beauty lies. Because what we've got here is we've got us becoming into, into emotion. Say that again. We've got you coming into emotional balance with yourself. This can be your emotions balancing out. You're feeling more confident. You've got a strategy now. You're healing. You're taking time out to pamper yourself and value yourself. And this is you and your higher self connecting in. So beautiful balance and emotional harmony can come back into your life again through doing this. Now, this can also be that you've got an opportunity here for a new friendship, a new person, a new partnership, a new lover. And you're not sure about them. You're not sure. You might have been through challenges in the past. This person is a good friend or a good business partner or a good lover. There's somebody who are, is on your wavelength. They're a good match for you. They're a mirror image of you if you look here. And they might you might feel a bit intimidated by this. It might be somebody you wouldn't normally take up with, a different type of friend or a different type of relationship here. Um, you might be, you know, be feeling insecure about going into new jobs where there's new people, but there's going to be good people around that are going to help you here. And this is about you focusing on this, focusing on your insecurities, working through them and understanding that you've got a lot to give. We've all got something to bring to the table here. We've all got skills. And he's focusing on that and he's working and using his skills and he's investing and um, putting his efforts into something. So if there's something that you're working on here, for example, and you're in your job, don't feel that you couldn't be promoted. You might want to bring in a mentor here. You might want to develop your skills. But what he's doing is he's focusing on his work and he's putting the hard work in and that's where the benefits will come from. So let's see what this Four of Swords is about. So relax, work through your insecurities. You've got what it takes here. This is somebody who's got a good skill set, whether it be in your work or good with money. You might have taken some setbacks here. You can work on your finances, you can work on your job, you can work on your relationships, and we can work in our environments. We all have that ability. Take your time. You know, everything, you're going to achieve everything immediately here. The Three of Swords, the Three of Wands, and the Ten of um Ones. Now this is your challenges ending. We need to relax now. We've been through a challenging time. 
this is over now. You've learned loads of lessons here. That's how you can sit back and you reflect on these lessons and understand them, take time to heal from them and understand them. And it gives you the mental clarity to be able to go forward to new things and deciding what you want to work on. These are knowledge. It's knowledge you've gained here. They're karmic lessons you've been through. So we've definitely been a challenging time. There's been some sort of upset definitely here. It could be heartfelt upset of any kind. It doesn't have to be romantic. The good thing about these upsets is the clouds clear. This is a temporary place you're in. You will recover from these upsets and your challenges will end. You will heal, take time to heal, brainstorm, listen to your intuition. What do you want to focus on now? Take time out and look to the future and believe and trust that you can bring your ships in. Now, what he's doing here is he's standing looking out to the future, but he's chosen his path where he knows there'll be growth. He's done his homework. He's done his thinking. He's got a strategy. He's got plans. Making long term plans is a great thing because it can help us measure our, our uh, progress and things. But you've got to trust and believe in yourself here and understand that you can achieve anything you want if you put your mind to it. So let's clarify this here, this eight of pentacles. There we go. Beautiful Ace of Cups, you can do this. Judgment card, wonderful. The five. Now there's your disappointments and upsets. This is what needs to change. There's things that have knocked you off balance here. We don't, this five's a change for me. You don't want to be focusing on the past. We can't refill these cups. There's no point in crying over spilt milk here. We want to focus on our blessings in the present, seeing the beauty in our present and deciding how we're going to go forward. We can use the past to reflect on to uh, reflect on our lessons. What have I learned here? How am I going to go forward? But we don't want to be dwelling on them. Don't dwell on past regrets or upsets. So we need to change that. We need to make a good judgment call here. This is about you making a judgment call to put the past behind you, to make plans for your future. It's about deciding here what you're going to focus on, what you're going to put your work into, what's worth it. What are you, what would you be happy doing? This judgment call is highly important because Spirit's trying to help you, encouraging you to do it. And when you make the right call for yourself and you decide to go forward uh, and choose your path now that your challenges are over, leave the disappointments behind, you're going to be like a phoenix rising from the ashes and there's going to be new opportunities for happiness coming in. It could be new friends, it could be new lovers. But we've got to get rid of the stagnation. What's holding you back here is that you're feeling insecure because of past challenges. We all feel like that. It's totally normal. The secret is to let them go. Now, if you're making a judgment call about somebody coming back from your past, please use the knowledge you've gained. Remember we spoke, use the knowledge you've gained here to make the right judgment call for you. If it's a deja vu type situation you're going through again, use the knowledge you've gained and always make sure that you're doing what's right for you here and it's going to make you happy. Let's see what this messages here now. Holiday. There we go. This might be what's needed for some of you. It's time to go on that holiday that you've been dreaming about and live life. Absolutely. Let all these heartaches go. There's a lot of living to be done. I hope this helps. Please like, share and subscribe. And I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.